Hey guys, I'm wondering why more people have not registered to get this boat. I mean, do you guys not want a free boat? This is not a scam. This is not clickbait. This boat will go to somebody. So register before January 2023 when we go to call a giveaway winner. Link is in the description. This boat's gonna be the end of me. I tell you, I'm so frustrated and pissed. Like, <laughs> I did everything, got it all done. It's the most ready anything has ever been, ever coming out, like for game day ready. So they got these old and archaic tires on here. I tried, I couldn't get the rims off last night. They were like frozen to the hub. I brought it here, Carol some tires and have to try to get these on. They're the wrong lug patterns. So now I bought these. I gotta stick those on something else, but it's, it's such a sh show, man. Like, and then, so now I gotta go get new rims and tires. I'm never gonna get this thing on the water. I have a soft spot for like really unique DIY creations. So I'm trying to keep this trailer. It's taken everything for me to not cut this thing in half with a plasma cutter and recycle it into something else new. It's got crazy things. It's the craziest design ever, but it works really well. So, I mean, it's got like handrails. You can see right there, handrails, and then an old Chevy axle or at least Chevy hubs in a weird welded together axle. Very like things. I don't know, completely flat leaf springs. I had never even seen completely flat leaf springs until I got this trailer and look at them, they're flat. He used an extension cord to wire his trailer lights, which worked, I guess, for a period of time. And also the trailer is just obscenely high out of the water. And these are like low profile rims. The original rims on it were, they were just like so fat. The thing was like a like a monster truck. You, you had to back your whole truck in the in the ramp to just to get off the boat and they had to push the boat off. It was obscene. That, I really want to keep this trailer, but I have to either drop it or I have to extend the tongue or possibly both. But one way or another, these rims need to come off and that axle needs to come off. And we have to do some things or we're not gonna be able to use this trailer. All right, so this is the solution. We're going to just buy everything. Over here at Shadow Trailers, by the way, here in Havasu, it's a pretty dope place. They're pretty nice, nice people. They've taken care of me and all my bass trailer needs. So we're gonna just go ahead and cut that axle off. We're gonna cut off the hubs. Then we're gonna weld this on top. And we got all new hubs and bearings and all the BS. So I think having we're capable of doing that now, skill-wise, so let's take care of it. So the bearing buddy is gonna be behind the black crawl. It's gonna be right here, which holds seven pounds of pressure, which will push the grease from the front of the bearing to the back of the bearing. But you have the option with this spindle to screw in a zerk fitting and smack on an easy lube dust cover, which you're able to dust, or dust. You're able to grease from the front, which will pump the grease from the back all the way up to the front of the spindle. That sounds pretty good, right? Which is a lot more sufficient than yeah. everything else. Let's do that. Cool. Those are rubber plugs. Yep, simple to remove. You use a screwdriver, a key, anything like that. Just pops right out like that. And then, the, on the front and then the there's a zerk fitting yep. over the plug. Okay. Right on the end of the spindle so you can grease it from the back to the front. All right. Yeah. What's this called? This is called a spindle. Yeah. A weld on spindle, a drop spindle. spindle. Okay. Yeah. Drop spindle. All right. Definitely need the drop. Yeah. I spent a lot of money on trailers, like just trying to get them up. Like for my boat, for this, we're trying, I mean, trying to get this rental fleet up is, uh, is so much money. I don't know if I can do it. Either way though, for personal or commercial use, I got to get this trailer up. It'll be pretty cool. You know, we've done some things with trailers, modded trailers, retrofitted them to fit you know boats that were never supposed to go on them to begin with and then now i guess one of the things we have never done is the axle i mean we just kind of sell out and go buy an axle from from tractor supply that's hardy this is there uh, but now i guess we're just gonna have to make our own axle which a lot of people are just saying why well, just make your own axle weld the spindles on make sure it's straight you can even drop an offset so this is probably gonna be pretty good i like i feel pretty good about it go with it that way but you can tell like this is like a i guess it's an old chevy plug pattern this is an old chevy hub and really it's not doing too well probably couldn't replace those bearings even if i wanted to so it's kind of nice just to possibly just upgrade it all just get it done but the leaf spring and everything else seems to be holding fine but you can just kind of now that the tire is off you can see how this thing was made it's got these like loops from a it's kind of sketch really but a normal trailer like you can just get stock is those are also built kind of sketch too this one at least got like a step pattern it sounds like they have to do some welding jobs and probably we may or may not just take this fender off this ridiculous fender shorten the fender make step we can do some things now that we were not going to be able to do before so it just is what it is we're gonna have to mod the trailer it's another day or two before we get to take the beast out and really put it to its paces but it'll, it'll at least be here Okay, so this is two by two quarter, two by two quarter, 
we were probably going to mount it like this. I thought about doing this, but then you have that gross overhang there, and there's no way we can truly weld it to, uh, there's just no way we can truly do it. These are cut pretty straight. As long as we line them up like so, we can go ahead and just beast that in there. The whole thing needs to be 62 inches from uh, brake plate to brake plate. That's what's measured on the other one, so that should be pretty good accurate inf inspection. This should actually be fairly easy. It shouldn't be terribly hard to do. All right, Hercules, if you can cut this, we'll be good to go. If you can cut it. This is pretty serious. One fourth inch steel, that is the question. We cut it at 58 and we should be good. Wow. That straight up cut a freaking one fourth inch cold rolled steel pipe. I love this thing. I don't know what I was doing without it my whole life. Look at that thing. Things said and done this was actually pretty easy and probably cheaper than what i would pay for one that doesn't even drop down to get something like this custom would cost quite a bit of money it was just obviously you need the welder and stuff and needs to be able to weld one fourth inch tube i just used flux core cleaned it up and uh the bigger thing about the steel is it's got this coating on it you got to get a nafta or camp fuel a true oil remover and just remove all that weird grease on it get it all off and then you can prime it and paint it we're using the ace rust stop we painted the boat with this stuff and we also painted it here and we've been painting trailers with it it is now my favorite spray paint and primer to go to i've never welded anything that thick before and obviously this crucial if this breaks it's seriously devastating to my whole case i mean my truck might not flip over but that boat is done for no other axle to rely on that was really fast and powerful, the, the bead. You had to move really fast with that bead. I'm like, I never had to move so fast with a bead ever. So that was interesting experience welding one fourth tube. But it was finally, it was finally something we did. And so let's just let this thing cure. We'll be back in a little bit to put it on. All right, so we got this old Chevy hub, super old. Got these tires off, they were stuck. I had to smack them off. I had to, I had to get like a two by two and a dead blow hammer and pound them from the other side so I wouldn't get squashed in the trailer if it moved wrong. So like, this works. Here's the cutoff flange for the brake. And I don't know, the old caliper, I don't, this is some, this is some stuff here, man. There's all the, the flux core splatter that he did not grind off or care to do. So that's awesome that that's there. And then um, he doesn't have U-bolts, he has regular bolts. Look like 3 8 inch bolts through that, which is the same thing as a U-bolt, it'll work. So we're gonna go ahead and undo those. And this is a two and a half inch, that's a two inch tube with a, like I think almost a quarter inch uh, flat bar beam. So I might be wondering if that was two inch channel and he did that to make a full tube. He tacked that, doesn't even look like, cause a lot of this is actually done very that's channel made to be a tube that he tacked in place several times, so I don't know. But if that's the case, it should be pretty much a seamless transition over it in terms of like the axle to axle should be pretty much dead on.
those two holes were for the leaf spring guides. They have these little things that the axle just sits on so it doesn't shake loose or move down the leaf spring and cause problems. And after that, we just bolted it right back on. It was a two inch um, axle before and it's two inch axle now with a nice drop and offset and it lines up verbatim so far. Now all we gotta do is just put together all this stuff. The whole setup here with the hubs is self-explanatory. I mean, it's got one large bearing, one small bearing. They both go in obvious places. The harder thing to put in is the seal. You're gonna have to use a, a rubber mallet to knock those in softly. And after that, everything else just kind of just goes on seamlessly. You gotta pack the bearings with grease. Then you have to put some grease in there. If you don't have the Zert fittings, I forgot the Zert fittings. Like you told me they took Zert fittings. I didn't check with them for the Zert fittings. I didn't even go any place to get them. So we're just gonna pack this with grease. Then everything else is pretty self-explanatory. It comes with that unique washer that goes around the spindle. Then you have the nut, then you have the nut lock, then you have the carter pin. Make sure the nut's flush but not tight and voila. <laughs> My son talked me into making him a vert ramp during fall break, so that's what this is, and it's taking up all my garage space. And uh, but let's go check out the boat. Here it is, and I'm pretty happy with it. We did test this out the other night. Like it, it was such a good drop on the boat. Look how much lower it is. It is very low. It is is what saved me from having to put a Fulton fold away hitch on it. Now I don't have to even do that. It's it's perfect length. And the trailer's already pretty short because it's like a 14 foot boat. I mean, yeah, the fenders look ridiculous. It looks like a legit lowrider with like the huge fenders and the, the little 14 inch rims sucking inside the fender. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I don't know. I thought about replacing the fender. It'd be pretty easy. They're actually bolt on. So taking them off would be cake, and, but I would just have to make a, some sort of replacement, which I kind of, I want to do that. I want to make some sort of apparatus where you can step on it in the front and the back and make it a lot easier to access and get off in and out of the boat and do things. But I'm just happy that it worked. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get terribly good light tonight. It's always in the night when I work. It's not a million degrees outside. Here is the actual axle. Running there, mounted up, right into the hub, pretty cleanly installed. You ever seen flat leaf springs? Completely flat? Nuts, huh? Other things, we got rid of the extension cable. We got some lights here. These are just TH Marine lights. We got them straight from our website. And then we got these Trapino straps. I just bolted them down to the side right here. You know, just pull them here and strap them down and here they go. Just seem pretty nice and convenient there. Like generally we would run them over here somewhere, but we didn't, we just have the kind of the option with how this boat's laid out to do that. And we also got a transom support or a transom saver, whatever you want to call it. We rigged that here with, the, with a bolt to the end. We generally, it has a little clasp that goes right over the roller, but the roller fits so tight on the bottom of the boat, we couldn't get it in there. The only thing that I want to do personally, and the thing that I always hate about small trailers is just getting on here and putting the wench on and the, the whole experience of climbing on this little like a tightrope onto here and then generally have the spare tire but this is not going to mount the spare tire so this is actually a bolt so i can just undo this bolt take this off and then i have another one that i can need i'm probably just going to weld on i might just do that tonight and uh weld on the spare tire bracket go to go, go the equivalent spare tire size kind of slacking these few days been kind of kind of out of it and this thing I can't stand this thing. Wire, wire wenches are the worst thing ever. Look at that. They just pull in there. You know what that reminds me of? Braid, braid in a baitcaster. I would just, if you wrench on it, it just pulls into each other and then it just binds itself. So that's about as far as it goes. It has a whole whopping like four inches of play. So it's not great. We also have to mount the safety chain. We didn't do that yet. It's just, it's just kind of chilling in there, but that's what that's there for. So we can actually mount that here. I thought this thing was hideous and I did not like it, but now I'm seeing all kinds of like things that I could do with it. Like truly, it's a pretty good, you could, you have a lot of play to mount a spare tire on it anywhere you want. The spare tire will go probably on this side. And then on this side, we can have a step up. I mean, it's already this big gigantic thing. Why not add step ups? Assuming that we can, I'll probably have to mod this out on a bar. We'll just weld the bar here or the flat bar or channel or something. We'll weld it out. That way it's way out here and away from the step ups. So you don't hit the step up with a crank. Then the stoop, then the spare tire. And between the spare tire and the step ups, and then we're going to make a little step here. A little step here. 
little little out long step like how we did with my boat we'll make one there i mean that really does make all the difference and like the experience of the trailer Ex experience yeah i know you're only like doing it for a few seconds but why not do it why not make this trailer the most epic trailer ever it's already got the very unique design let's just finish it off and do some other cool things to it hey guys shout out to my patrons i have a whole new series and a bunch of new things coming for you guys stay tuned it's in the works shout out to all the channel members also cool things coming to you more videos in the masterclass series check out the masterclass series if you need to know step-by-step -step verbatim stuff also join our facebook group and they have a whole lot of help there too biggest one on facebook check us out see you guys out there